Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In this video today, we are going to be taking a look at things that you need to know heading into Black Friday coming later on this week in this game. Content to expect, SBCs, objectives, just basically what you can expect as we head into the biggest promo of the year so far inside of FIFA 22. Uh, last year, they changed it up big time, and that's what I want to talk about a little bit. Black Friday last year, didn't actually start on Friday. It started a day early on Thursday. So I want to look at how EA did that last year and how it could potentially happen again this year. And also just kind of put, if they do the same content as last year, this year on this game, it's going to be absolute craziness once again, especially with the packs, right? So we're going to talk through packs in the store. We're going to talk about SBCs and objectives all in this video today. And we're going to be looking a lot at last year to see how they did things because usually EA just build on what they did in the prior year. So I would expect it to be run similarly to the prior year. So without further ado, let's get into it because we're actually going back one year ago. FIFA 21, the day before Black Friday, they dropped this loading screen. I don't know if you guys remember this, the pre-Black Friday loading screen with the Team of the Week card. And of course... People kind of knew what this was right away because always on Black Friday, we get the best of team of the week re-released back into packs, right? That is something that they almost always do. They've done it for the past couple of years and they did exactly that. Last year as a part of Black Friday, which started on Thursday, the day before, they released a lot of content. Now I'm looking through some of EA's tweets from last year. Last year on Thursday, basically Thanksgiving on the day before, uh, Black Friday, EA dropped all of these Team of the Week cards back into packs, right? Your best of Team of the Week. And if you can't see it behind my, my face here, uh, Mane is the card that's right here. But you guys remember, this best of Team of the Week, it was released into packs. There were no promo packs. There were no promo packs. There was literally a Flash SBC. There was these cards released into packs. And then they had a objective player, Delofeu. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this. And also brand new Icon Player SBCs. These were released last year on the day before Black Friday, right? So they had this whole promo called like pre-Black Friday, which it was the day before, and they released the best of cards into packs. And then of course they had more plans, which we didn't know yet, but they had more plans for the actual day of Black Friday. So as we look into that stuff this year, right? Is that sort of thing gonna happen this year on the game? I mean, I think there is potential. Well, let me start with this. I 100% think that they are going to release the best of Team of the Week cards uh, I think that they're going to be included back into packs. Now, we, we've been talking about this and we've wondered this. Is it going to be called best of team of the week or is it going to be called best of, right? Because I could also see since there's no special Ronaldo or special Messi that have informs yet. And usually there's at least one of those two, of course, your number one and number two kind of players in the world. Usually they're included in some way, shape or form as a card going back in packs. So I don't know if EA is gonna drop one of those guys in packs, like their wants to watch card or something like that, but they also could go with just a best of, right? And then they could they could put some Adidas numbers up cards back in packs. They could do rule breakers or maybe some of the road to the knockout cards they could put back into packs. Now, how likely is that? I feel like it's less likely than of course, just getting a normal best of team of the week, but there's potential, right? There is potential, and that's kind of what we're talking through in today's video. So that happened last year, the day before Black Friday, it started to get crazy. So everybody started opening their like, their saved team of the week packs and their saved, uh, you know, team of the week upgrade packs and stuff like that last year uh, for the best of team of the week. So that was actually crazy. We had Icon SBCs that were just priced okay. And then also started the Flash SBCs, which last year, that's a big part of the Black Friday promo are the Flash SBCs because it is number one, constant supply for the market, and number two, it is constant demand for, you know, these SBCs that get dropped, they have all sorts of different, like here's here's one, Flash Challenge, Rare Mixed Players Pack. They have all sorts of different, um, you know, requirements, right? This These Flash SBCs sometimes are out for one hour, sometimes out for two hours, sometimes like three, they sometimes make non-rares, silvers, or bronzes explode in price, right? It just depends on the requirements from those SBCs. But as, you're, as we're going to look through a lot of these tweets in here from EA, there's some pretty good Flash SBCs that are released. A Mega Pack Flash SBC available for one hour. Uh, five Rare Gold Player Pick Flash SBC. Prime Gold Players Pack SBC. Uh, the Rare Mixed Players Pack Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. There's some that aren't that good, right? Uh, an 80-plus Midfielder Pack. 
you know, there's some of them that aren't that good in here. 81 to 84 player pick available for the next two hours. Not all of these flash SBCs are going to be like insane value. Some of them are going to be a little bit less value, right? And you're not going to want to do them. But there's also going to be plenty of them that will be like, okay, uh, you know, I probably want to get involved with this. This might be a good SBC to do. So there's going to be plenty of those that I would imagine drop again. Now, last year, the very interesting thing as well is that the Black Friday promo this actually started at 2 p.m. UK on Black Friday. It did not start at 6 p.m. UK. Now, what we're going to have to watch later on this week is stuff that expires early. So like promo packs in the store, that was one of the giveaways that we saw last year is that the promo packs that were in the store, I don't know if I can find it here. I was no, I knew I looked at it in this video at one point, um, but the promo packs that were there, they expired early. And that kind of gave us the clue that Black Friday was going to be starting early. I can't find it. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, I was looking at this, right? Because these expired at 2 p.m. UK on Friday. So I would almost expect that to probably happen again this year. I mean, we'll have to watch in the store and look for that. But um, that is one thing that was kind of interesting last year. They dropped the record breaker cards. As you can see here, Black Friday is here. They tweeted this 9 a.m. my time, which is 2 p.m. UK um and they were in packs early so that was very very interesting that ea started the craziness early last year too that was kind of the theme right the, the day before they started early and the day of they started early now speaking of the actual day of black friday and this is where i want to talk about this year's game and stuff going on with this year as well is the packs the promo packs and the supply that we had on the game last year so of course this year we have preview packs and I would 100% expect to see preview packs make their way into a part of this promo this year on this game. Absolutely, we are going to see preview packs during Black Friday. But the thing is, last year, and this is one major point that I'm going to keep talking about over this next week, there's going to be tons and tons and gobs of tons of pack supply this Friday. Maybe even Thursday as well, but this Friday for sure, tons of pack supply because this is how EA make their dough on Black Friday. Last year, they released 50K lightning rounds, 100K lightning rounds, 125K lightning rounds. Then the hour after that, they put 50K packs in the store and had no limit. For one hour, you could open as many 50K packs as you wanted to on this game. The supply last year was crazy. It was crazy. There was also a lot of prices that rose on rare cards and really popular out of pack stuff, which again, we're expecting this year as well. But there were so many coins put on the market last year, but there was also so much supply from those packs. And if you think about again, how the pack weight is this year and how we've already seen supply absolutely destroy this market, uh, it's going to be a bloodbath on Friday because Here's my thinking, right? EA is not going to release less packs in this game because they know the market is so dead already, right? No, they're going to go after the bag, right? They're going to release these lightning rounds. They're going to release preview packs. They're going to release regular promo packs as well because they know that is income, right? They're making a lot of money off of those transactions and off people buying FIFA points. So they're going to release those packs because they know that they're going to sell out if they put good cards back into packs. And if there is a brand new promo team, We'll talk, still talk about that uh, in a little bit as well. But all I'm saying is there's going to be 50K, 100K, and probably 125K packs on Friday. The supply is going to be stupid. And that's why we're talking right now. If you want to buy, like I want to buy Marquinhos, Kempembe, and Akimi for my team, right? The PSG back line. I want to buy them for the squad. I'm not touching them until at least Friday, maybe even after that, because the supply this weekend is going to be really really insane so that was one point i wanted to make about sbc supply we're going to continue talking about that or not sbc supply pack supply we're still going to talk about that later on this week last year on black friday as well they dropped record breakers into packs five cards only five cards right away so i think this was a little bit of a i mean we still had mbappe we had a sancho david silva with a really nice boost like all of these cards were kind of usable but mbappe and sancho were the ones that were like interesting right away um, last year when they dropped these cards into packs. So that was one thing that was a bit interesting as well. We had brand new cards in the game for the first time on Black Friday. It just wasn't a re-release of old cards. I would be very expected this year as well that EA would do some sort of promo around Black Friday and release best of team of the week 
and other cards in packs at the same time. We also had our first ever weak foot upgrade of FIFA 21 last year at Black Friday with Rodrigo uh, getting a four-star weak foot upgraded, I think, from either a three or a two. And, you know, that might be something we see now, too. If, if they open that door of op of upgrading a weak foot or a skill move on an objective or SBC card, then that would be something I would expect to see um, throughout the rest of the year. Now, we didn't get Alessandrini on the Friday. We got Alessandrini on, on Saturday, uh, but we got a flashback Aguero on Friday as well. And interestingly enough, when I was looking through these tweets, you're going to see something interesting. So November 27th on Friday, Aguero's flashback SBC was released earlier in the week for the, uh, what is it? Like the featured squad battle squad. They featured Aguero squad like four days beforehand. So we're going to have to watch and see who this week is the featured squad battles team. And then, uh, maybe that will give us a hint on who our, uh, on who our flashback or maybe some of our content might be this Friday. So uh, again, there was actually a uh, Silver Star Record Breaker Stopple Camp that was included. It wasn't just SBCs. It was There was a couple cards that were available as well. Uh, there was a SBC for Memphis Depay on, on the weekend of Black Friday as well. And these flash SBCs that you're seeing, they literally went through the whole entire weekend, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Most of them are on Friday and Saturday. Then they cool off a little bit into Sunday. Uh, and then also on Sunday, they release five more uh, record breakers. Van Dyke, Vardy, Donnarumma, Carlos Vela, and Fabregas. So there was just so much content last year. So many SBCs, so many packs, so many objectives. And I really think that it's going to be the same way this year. There's going to be just an overwhelming amount of content on this game and that's not even to mention like the upgrade packs right there were there were icon sbcs that were live last year i think they had they re-released a base icon upgrade last year as a part of the promo as well there were tons of player sbcs and there were upgrade packs uh 81 plus upgrade packs actually that's something i, I did not show you uh yet i'm going to go back to this youtube video from last year and show you guys this there was a couple of upgrade packs that were very interesting last year too. There was an 83 plus double upgrade and they also released an 81 plus uh, triple upgrade. Yeah, as you can see here. So those weren't live for a very long amount of time, but they released a lot of upgrade packs because think about it. Think about it this way, right? There are going to be a lot of SBCs available this weekend, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all through the weekend. There's gonna to be tons of SBC content. It's gonna be banging content again, kind of like a couple weeks ago or like the end of Rule Breakers. There's gonna be SBCs every day. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun. And it has to be that way because if EA is, is allowing people to open so many packs, then people are getting so many coins, they have so many cards in their club that they gotta do something with them, right? They have to do something with them and that's why they put a lot of these SBCs and objectives out. There's just gonna be tons and tons of stuff to do on this game. I would expect 100% to see more Icon player SBCs, Icon upgrade SBCs, um, you know, literally everything. You, you can literally expect everything on Black Friday. So maybe our first party bag of the year, who knows? Maybe, I don't even know what, that had to be added into the code and we would probably have a little bit of a heads up on that, but that would be something that you could uh, think about expecting in this year's game as well. So it's gonna be crazy, right? Tons of packs are gonna be opened. Uh, there's gonna be so many market movements on all of these cards across the entire market. Now, today as I'm recording this, there's actually been some market movements up, right? And I think this happens every year on Black Friday. Um, and it, it was happening today. Some people just kind of get like, they're like, oh my goodness, these cards are just so low. And you see periods where cards get bought up. As we go throughout this week, there are going to be cards that kind of rebound back in price. Ginola was actually down at like 1.56 at his lowest in the past two days. He's back up over 100,000 coins. There might be some pro players involved in this, buying up their teams for qualifiers. Uh, and there's just, there's a lot of still, people think that cards get too low and they, they go buy them, right? I bought a Robbie Keane last night at 279,000 coins and he rebounded back to 300K where he is right now. I took the profit on that. So you're gonna see continually these fluctuations throughout the week. But again, as I mentioned, with the cards that are in packs, with the exception of your really meta hero cards and your icons, I mean, I'm really worried about like a guy like Kempembe. I know there's so many people in this game that are going to want to buy Kempembe, but that's not what EA wants you to do. EA wants you to say, man, I've used Kempembe, he's 26,000 coins. Yeah, he's really good, but EA is gonna start putting out more and more special cards on this game every single week with promos to try to get you to upgrade 
to the next thing, to the next card, and you know, sell this Kempembe, or you know, maybe get bored of using Kempembe, and he's so cheap that it's like, man, it's not worth using. And then they're gonna drop new promo cards every single week to try to get you interested in that sort of stuff. That's why, with the way the market is this year, and the market is so low with everything, I think that's why EA is gonna drop. Uh, a whole new promo team this Friday. I would expect it. If it's just best of team of the week, I would be surprised. So that's why I think there's going to be a new promo team. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if they'll do record breakers again. Of course, last year they had record breakers. And this year we've already seen record breakers. So th this could be a part of Black Friday once again, just like it was last year. They've already released the Anaki. Um, and, you know, they said that th these cards could be available through SBCs, uh, uh, objectives, or packs, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, it really, it's it's anything could happen this Friday. But one thing we do know is the packs are going to be insane. There's going to be a lot of movements on the market, and we're going to cover it all here on this channel. But hopefully, this video helps you guys out kind of getting ready for Black Friday, little uh, double upload day on a Monday, just kind of talking through what to expect uh, with this game content-wise and how it's going to impact the market. I mean, there's going to be things to do. There's going to be an overwhelming amount of things to do and everybody's going to be happy because it's going to be content central uh, on the game this weekend for Black Friday. So if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you at all, make sure to hit a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new and comment down below if you have any questions. It has been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will see you guys later. Peace out.